What is going on world? What's up YouTube? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video, so let's get into it. So in today's video guys, we got a ton of phase news to talk about. And our first story is coming from Phase Rain, who tweeted out a, a series of tweets, guys. One of them being, starting off with, fuck you. And then from there, he put, I'm not putting any more negative energy out there. I'm either coming back in a permanent good mood or I'm not coming back ever. So guys, he, with a series of tweets that he tweeted out, I would really think, guys, that it just sounded like Rain was really depressed and, like, just in a bad state of mind when making these tweets. Now, obviously, guys, it's just tweets, so a lot of times it's hard to get a good feel for what a person really means when they are tweeting something out. Maybe he's in a bad mood. Maybe he's in a depressed mood. It's hard to tell sometimes because it's not like a video. It's just a post, and that's the thing about Twitter, obviously. But all I got to say, guys, if FaZe Rain is depressed in any way at all we've got to be showing our support for phase rain and i hope everything is okay on his end he's definitely got a very good support structure with the other guys in phase i just hope everything's all right with him our next story guys is coming from phase clan who tweeted out saying today zuma was officially transferred off phase clan his impact on our team and our culture during the time here are immeasurable these past four years trophies and memories together won't ever be forgotten tommy from from everybody at FaZe Clan, thank you, FaZe Up. Zuma, guys, was a huge figure, of course, for FaZe, was, you know, the captain of the Call of Duty team, winning championships for FaZe, and now he, of course, is now with the CWL New York City team, or I guess it's the CDL New York City team, because FaZe, it doesn't sound like, is going to be moving into the CDL, which, of course, is the Call of Duty League. It looks like they are, at least for the time being, going to stay away from the Call of Duty League, but Zuma is now on to New York City where he is going to be competing for, for the New York City team. I'm really excited for him. Congrats on making the team. I know everybody at FaZe Clan is certainly going to be missing him. Another big story, guys. They lose one member, but they gain one. FaZe Clan picked up Brokey. They introduced FaZe Brokey as the newest CSGO pro. They said, please welcome Brokey as our newest addition to the team. He will be competing with us for the foreseeable future, starting with a matchup versus Evil Geniuses shortly. So congratulations, Brokey, on joining FaZe. Very excited to see what he does for the CSGO team. Our next story, guys, is coming from a partnership with Manchester City and FaZe. FaZe Clan. FaZe Clan tweeted out saying, the good news keeps coming, announcing the launch of our collaborative partnership with Man City. If you click on the link, it'll bring you to an article in which reads, Manchester City has announced an innovative new partnership with FaZe Clan, the world's unmatched leader in competitive esports and pop gaming lifestyle and entertainment. This collaboration will create new experiences for fans of both football and esports to bring the two audiences together in an exciting new ways. FaZe Clan was formed 10 years ago on YouTube by teenage Call of Duty players who decided to change their gamer tags to form FaZe Clan. Today, FaZe Clan is a blend of celebrity YouTubers, Twitch streamers, and professional gamers who produce both gaming videos and lifestyle vlogs. FaZe Clan is the most followed gaming organization in the world with 214 million global fans and over 500 million monthly views of its content. Through this partnership, the organizations will bring together the worlds of football and esports across a number of exciting initiatives. FaZe and City will collaborate to create engaging content with talent and players, as well as hosting exclusive fans events in the U.S. and around the world. FaZe and City will also bring their FIFA players together in a shared training facility and launch limited edition co-branded retail products that fans can enjoy. This announcement formalizes the partnership between Manchester City and FaZe Clan, who have previously linked up to create YouTube content together, including during the club's tour of the United States in 2017. FaZe's much-decorated Fortnite gamer Nate Hill is also an avid City fan and is often seen wearing club colors while streaming. Nuria Tare, chief marketing officer at City Football Group, said esports is the world's fastest-growing spectator sport, and this collaboration with, with FaZe Clan marks the start of an exciting new chapter in Manchester City's esports journey. We recognize that fans want to celebrate their love for football across many aspects of their lives, including fashion, music, and gaming, to create a culture that goes beyond what happens on the pitch. 
We are looking forward to working with FaZe Clan to provide our fans with new and immersive ways to engage with the club. Lee Trank, FaZe Clan Chief Executive Officer, commented, This alliance with Manchester City creates a powerful opportunity to join our collective fan base and cultures on and off the field. FaZe Clan will continue to push the boundaries of gaming and esports by engaging our fans with experiences that are meaningful, memorable, and surprising. This collaboration builds on Manchester City's current esports offering with a dedicated FIFA player representing the club at tournaments across the world. City was also the first Premier League club to launch a FIFA online team in China, which will soon be joined by gamers from South Korea as the team grows across Asia. Beyond professional gaming, the club also hosted the Man City Esports Cup last year, which saw 10,000 city supporting amateur gamers take part in the tournament from across the world. So guys, this is so exciting. This is absolutely huge. This is a real push, as you can see, for FaZe Clan to go global, on a global scale. And this is a massive step in that direction for FaZe Clan, getting really out there. I mean, being partners with Man City, that's absolutely huge. I'm excited to see all the initiatives that they're talking about doing, what that exactly translates to. Because I know that in the past, there's been collaborations with different esports teams, and whether that be professional teams or designers so on and so forth, a lot of times it really is just a partnership that lasts for only a, a short period of time. I hope this one lasts for a long time and we see a massive amount of growth out of FaZe Clan. That would be absolutely amazing. But let me know what you guys all think about all of this stuff that's happening revolving FaZe Clan. I would love to hear your comments down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new, stay positive, and as always, I'll talk to you guys all in the next one. Peace.